What's up, my dude? So, guess what we're working on today? I mean, if you can see it and you read the title, you already know. We're working on some fancy heated cooled seats. So, today's video, I'm going to show you how to bypass the memory module on the driver's seat. Um, the passenger seat just needs 12 volt ground. I'm going to show you how to do that too. This video is specifically only for 2009 and up F 150s and 2011 and up super duties that's it okay no older seats no expeditions no other other cars just f-150s and super duties in those years and up okay that came heated and cooled hey guys what's up so i got uh, uh some important information to tell you that i noticed while i was editing the video that i didn't really give you uh it's my notes um i'm gonna give you a good nice clean picture that you can screenshot um i noticed i didn't really show them perfectly till the end and if you're just coming back and you just need to know what wire goes where because you already know what you're doing, screenshot it, okay? Right there, just like that. You guys got it? I'm just kidding. Screenshot's coming up. So, all right, guys. Well, enjoy the rest of the video. Screenshot this info. You're probably going to need it. Um, if you got any questions, don't ask me. Watch the video. No, I'm just kidding. People always ask me questions. All right, watch the rest of the video. I'll see you all later. I got stuff to go do. It's my birthday, baby. So the first gen um, generation of seats is these guys, um, 11 to 16 Super Duty and 09 to 14 F-150s, first gens. Now the second gens look like these bad boys, um, 17 to 19 Super Duties and then 15 to 17 F-150s. This is the second gen and that's what they look like. Now the third gen, they look just like these ones too, but they are actually different. They are different harnesses and they do work differently. So need to make sure if you got a second or third gen, I'll show you how to figure those out. So on the driver's side, you have your memory module. And if it's got plugs like this on them, that's a second gen. Now if it's got plugs like these, that's a third gen, okay? That, 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 that'd be your easiest way to tell. But um, other than that, they all need the, bypass, the memory bypassed and they all are kind of bypass the same way just different plugs in different spots and i'm going to show you where all those are at so why do we need to bypass the memory module in case you didn't know um if you try to just hook up 12 volt and ground to your seat it doesn't work but if you did the passenger it does work so you need to bypass the memory module because the memory module controls the motors so if you're not communicating with the the memory module it ain't gonna work so sorry my arm's getting tired <sighs> so the memory module controls everything and we don't want it to, we want to control everything. So basically you have power that comes up to the switch, you hit your little buttons, and then um, it goes to the memory module, and then the memory module is like, all right, I got you, dog. I'll back the seat up, Oop. And then that's how that works. But we need to cut out that memory module, cut out the middleman, and go straight to the supplier, you know what I'm saying? So basically we need to get that power straight to the switch, straight to the motors. That's what we need to do. You know, we need to cut out that middleman. And that's what we're gonna do. So let me go ahead and flip this camera, uh, show you my notes, and uh, get crack a lacking. Okay, guys. So I made a little graph right here to show you the different generations of seats. So these are your first gen years, your second gen, and your third gen. Okay. So these are heated and cooled, and they these seats pretty much all four of these work pretty much the exact same. They're just you know they're obviously different wiring harnesses because the the seats are different, but they technically work the same diagrams everything's the same on them third generation is a little different but i have all the generations here so i have a first gen harness here uh, we obviously have second gen seats and then i have a third gen harness here so i'll be able to show you all three and show you where everything's at now i don't have any third gen seats but i have the harnesses to show you on the plugs so now for what wire does what and what we need to bypass hi guys hold on i gotta, I gotta take a break right there I don't know where it's gonna go in the video, but I got some information to tell you that I didn't, that I forgot to tell you earlier. So I was watching, making the video and I was like, oh, I should probably tell them that. So that's why I'm here now. Don't plug your stuff back in. After you bypass the memory module, do not plug your plugs back into the memory module. Leave them unplugged, okay? Don't plug them in. I'm serious, bro. Don't plug them in. Because if you do, you're gonna start burning up some stuff, okay? Stuff's gonna get started getting real hot. This is why I start smoking, okay? I don't want that. So leave your stuff unplugged after you bypass the memory module, okay? Learn from your mistakes. That's what I've always tried to do. That's how I know. So you guys don't end up like me. But, 
All right, cool. enjoy the rest of the video. It's my birthday. I probably should go get a beer or something. And I think I'm gonna do that. So I'll catch you all later. All right, guys, now we're gonna talk about the third gens um, that look like the second gens, but they're not. So let me go ahead, let me flip my camera. Uh, I'll talk about my notes on the third gen. Um, I think we covered everything on the second gen. I think we're good. So let's jump on into the third. It is right here. Here's your magic. So. I mean, if you want to screenshot that right there, be my guest, because that'll be your moneymaker. So, how I have this set up is basically these are our wires coming from the switch, and these are our wires um, coming from the motors, and we just need to tie them all together, basically, because the memory module sits right here, and we need to get rid of that middleman, you know what I'm saying? So, for these two generations, um, these are the ones in the red circles are going to be your pinouts for these wires that you're looking for on both sides. And then the blue circle is for the third gens. So let's just talk about these two right now, because that's probably why you're watching this video. So we're going to be looking at the red pins. So let's say we wanted to move our seat up and, and make it taller. So it's just easier to work on. Um, we're going to want to jump power to yellow, orange, and white, blue, which is pin 10 and 22. So, on your driver's seat, you have your memory module right here. Oh, snap. My bad, guys. That's supposed to be plugged in. And I want you to just mess with these wires right here. You don't need to take anything off. You don't need to butcher anything. You can do this without destroying the harness, okay? But I want you to be able to get to this plug. And, you know, there's not much working room, so I would like to extend this seat out, which is rear up which is, what was that, pin? We need to jump pins 10 and 22 with power. So I colored them with Sharpie so it'd be a little easier to see. Let me zoom in for y'all. All right, so we got, so it's backwards. You got eight, nine, 10, so it's that silver mark. And then coming down here is 22. So you got 13, 21, 22. So that's why I drew it in silver. So those, those are two motors, the two golds are two motors, the two blacks right here are, is a motor, and then this copper is a motor. So basically if I stick two of my pins in two of those same colors, it'll move the seat any which way I want based off of all of these wires. So yeah. So if you wanna move the seat, this is what I do. I just have like a little jumper and a little pin. So if I want, Oh, my bad, guys. I can stick that in there. Come over here. Stick this one in the other one. Get in there. They were close enough. Oh, wait, shit. I went backwards. I made it smaller. That's not the way I want to go. So, if it goes the wrong way, just reverse the polarity. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. And then once it stops, you know, take this off or else it's gonna, it's gonna heat up. So now that we got our seat extended, um, undo this tape and you can get to all these wires and really check this plug out because look how much more room I got. I get my whole hand in here. So if you need to move the seat, however you want, jump those pins accordingly. So now that you know how to move the seat and get it positioned, um, let me show you how to bypass the memory module. So, you got the same plug over there. See, I colored it the same way for y'all. So if you want to see what to jump or screenshot that, there you go. So basically, pin 21 and pin 13, pin 21 and 13, they make it recline and and incline so there you go all right so now for how to bypass it all you need to do is unplug this keep it unplugged and jump your motor wires right here to your switch wires right here because most of your switch wires are running right here and your motor wires are right there so either you can just cut this whole plug off twist the wires together and put a crimp on it or you can put a little connector i'll show you I like to use these they're simple you don't cut up the harness and you can leave it stock but um it usually has that little cap on one end so usually i just take like a little screwdriver and push that cap out so then i'll have like a double barrel one 
and then I'll come right here and I'll just crimp all the, the wires together. So you're gonna need eight of these. So let me go ahead and undo that tape and let me show you what it looks like and uh, let's see if we can get this bad boy moving. So I'm gonna use those connectors and I'm basically gonna take pin six gray to gray yellow pin 11 and just shoot down my list. 18 white violet goes to violet gray pin 23. And I'm just gonna shoot down my whole list till I do all eight of them. So let me knock it out and show you. Okay. So, boom, got all my connectors on here. So basically got my wires coming from the switch, jumping over to my motor wires and going straight out. So yeah, so you can either run these ones or if you want, just cut the wires, strip them both, twist them together, crimp it if you want. Um, I like this because you can take these off and you know, you can't even really tell anyone butchered the harness with these guys. So now that we've got these on there, um, now we just need to run power and uh, she's ready to party. So. How to run power to hook up power um i have the pinouts right here so for these four seats it's going to be pin 21 on this plug which is the one i circled in gold right there and then for the ground pin 16 on this plug which if you go from right here it's the third one in in gold if you come down here, you see that black light blue right there? That's your ground. And then this white red right there is your positive. Not this white orange, the white red. And if you look at the pins, they're numbered. It's kind of hard to see. But you can see the 20 on the left and the 21 on the right next to the blue wire. And the same with these ones. They're numbered too, so you can see the, the 14. So you got 14, 15, and boom, 16. 16. So let's hook up a ground in there and uh, we'll get the seat moving, I guess. And then the positive. Can't wait to do one hand, dude. Booyah. All right, we should, we should have juice. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hells to the yes. So that's pretty much it. That's all I did was just unplug this, jump the wires, hook up 12 volt ground, and boom, she's ready to party. So if you want, um, I mean, if you have the other end of these plugs, that'd be perfect. Um, if you don't, I mean, just peel back some tape and you know get your positive wire and get your ground wire and that's it you just need those two wires so yeah booyah um what else i gotta tell you i don't know but for the passenger um on pretty much all the seats it's just violet red is your um how to power it up so if you got your passenger seat um so let's see so on the first gens, I have pin 16 as your power and pin 21 as your ground. And this is a first gen harness right here. So, yeah, so pin 21 right there, black, white is your ground. And then that purple, red, pin 16 is your, your positive. So that's all you need to power up um, the first gens right here. Now the second gens, I don't know why they did it. But they um, reverse the wires. So now pin 21 is um, positive and pin uh, 16 is ground. Now you can see how they reverse the wires. You got the black here and the purple over here. And then you got the black blue right there. So I don't know why they did that, but they did. So hook up power and ground to just that and your passenger is good to go. So. All right, well, uh, that covers the first and second gens, how to get these two going. Well, that's pretty much it. You just need to jump the switch wires to straight to them. Okay, guys, let's just start with the passenger. Get that one out of the way since we were just talking about them, and your memory is probably fresh. So the third gen works the same as the second gen on the passenger seat. Um, pin 21 is your 12 volt right there. This violet red, and then this black blue, pin 16 is your ground. So just ground positive and 
your passenger seat's good to go. So it's pretty much the same process for all three generations. Um, that's why I put the pin out here. I don't know why they, they switched the, the pins in the first gen to this. I don't know, I don't know, but now you know. So th those are for all the passenger seats. So, all right, well, let's talk about the third gens. So it's gonna be the same process, the same color wires. Um, they just have different plugs. Um, so th these plugs are the pinouts in the blue circles. So we just did the red ones on the first and second gens. Third gen, there's these ones. Now for the different plugs, I did do different colors. Um, so I mean, if you wanna screenshot it again, I guess. So these are on the brown plug, this guy right here. Um, this black plug is this one right here. You're gonna be using two black plugs. I think there's three of them. Figure out which ones you, you need. We're gonna be using these two. And then mo most of these ones are all on this black plug. They got all the thick wires. So we're just gonna be messing with these three plugs. So in between these three plugs, they are the same. Same thing is happening on the first and second gens. So they just basically just swapped out, switched the plugs out for whatever reason to run a new module. God knows. So how we're gonna do this is basically you need to run the, the switch wires to the motor wires. So for example, let me show you, I'll try to show you basically everything. So right here, this one's the simplest. So you, we need pin seven, which is a gray. It needs to go to gray yellow, which is a pin 10 on the black one. So pin seven on here. So this pin is eight, th this pin has eight slots. So if we go to eight and then scoop over one, it's gray. And we need gray, which needs to be jumped to gray yellow pin 10 on the black plug. Yeah, there we go. So it has, sorry guys, it's hard to show the bottom. So there you can see the corner, it says pin 10 where that silver mark is. And there's our gray yellow. So we need to jump that gray yellow to this gray. And then so on on the list. Now this one's a little weird, this wire I noticed. So you need pin six, which is vi white violet on the brown one. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah right there, white violet, right there, that guy. So this white violet needs to jump to gray violet, which is also on the brown plug, which is these two wires. Use both of them, okay guys? So basically all three of these wires need to go together. And that's why it is pin one and nine on here. So you have pin one, and then you go all the way to eight, clock back over like you're reading a book, and pin nine. So pin one and nine, are that same motor wire so i think they just ran out of slots on this plug because it's filled up and they needed a thick wire so they just ran two two smaller wires in to fit this plug all right the next weird one well they're all a little weird um so pin 14 yellow blue which is on the bottom so this is 16 wide so you got 15 16 15 16 so there's our yellow blue right there Needs to go to yellow orange on the black plug. Needs to go to pin two. Right there, there's pin two. And so on and so on. So all four of these are going from the brown plug to the black plug. Brown plug to the black plug. And then this is the only one that goes brown to brown. And this one's a little different too. It's going from black plug to black plug. So that's where we're going to come to this guy. And we're going to need pin three and four. Is it three and four? Oh no, it's over here. We need these ones. Pin 19 and 20 for violet white and violet brown. So you can see where I have the two silver marks. There's your pin 19 and 20. So these need to jump over to pin three and four on our big plug. So pin three and four should be violet orange and gray brown. Yeah, they're that right there in the middle gray orange and gray brown or violet orange gray brown so that's where all your wires are at for this so just use your little jumper wires on these three plugs and that'll get your memory going on this i think that covers everything 
Yeah. Just shoot down the whole list. Oh, shoot. You need to learn how to power it up, too. So, how to power it up. Um, if you come over to this plug, there are some other ones that look just like it. Don't use them. See, this one has a white red. That white red, this is the plug for the switch. This white red is the power that comes in. So, we need the other end. So, this is the male. So, we go through the whole harness. There's two of them, okay? Make sure you guys grab the female plug. Female. Okay? And you come over here to pin 10 where that arrow's at. There's the other end of that, that white red. So that's going to be your 12 volt right there. And now coming to the big plug. I think it's right there where I put that gold mark on pin 16. That's your ground. Right there. That black and blue. So boom. You put your ground there, put your 12 volt there, have it come through, it comes to the switch, you hit your little switchies, and then it comes through, goes through your jumper wires, and then it just goes to each motor motor plug, wherever they're all at. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <sighs> that was a lot of info, guys. Holy snap. Oh my God. So yeah, that pretty much, that, that, that should help you get in a move in. Just follow my little wire guide. If you wanna look at it again, here's my whole notes. If you wanna take a screenshot or whatever. There you go. It took me a minute to figure that out because I thought the second and third gens were the same seats. So when I got different harnesses in, I was like, what is going on? These have different plugs, different things. What, what, what? So I had to figure it all out as do research, but we got it figured out. And that's why I made this video so that you know, there are three generations, figure out which ones you got and just wire it accordingly. The cool part though is all the wires are the same colors and they all do the same thing. They just got different plugs. So, all right guys, well, I gotta go. It's like my birthday and I'm still working. So I don't know, I'm gonna go get a beer or something, but I'll catch y'all later.